One of the problems I usually hear about is the difference between software, illustrated here, different components, illustrated here, modules and systems and other parts, meaning that people and uh, students usually have difficulties visualizing what's what. So in this presentation I'm going to go through the main parts of software systems in a sort of an explanation to tell what's the difference between component and system and software and object which we will be talking about on this course. So earlier we had the discussion over what is software and the decided that software is something that includes modules, uh, source code, it has procedures and it manages, manages data. Of course this all is true, but software actually, like a car engine, is a system built from components. And these components, usually also called modules, are parts of uh, software made with source code and they include uh, one coherent uh, functionality or one uh, activity and they usually are something like event listener for keyboard or touch screen uh, user in the interface drawing component uh, one component managing uh, networking data communications between the software and the client and they all exist in one software system the, being the larger box here and they are interconnected to each other something like the uh, component managing all the data is connected to the user interface component uh, telling the user interface what to show while it's also connected to the network component uh, requesting parts from the uh, component that handles data communications with other parts. Okay, so we have components which are connected to each other and inside all these components we have objects. These objects are uh, formed based on defined classes which themselves are defined for example in UML or class diagram and the classes are written in source code they are created by doing programming work and they do routines and manage messages the objects exchange messages to and the create the functionality that the component does and the component is the uh, umbrella term here uh, for the objects similarly as software is an umbrella term for components. Going even further than this uh, the system is actually something that has the software being here this box here the components of the software all the four here and the objects within one component or module keep in mind that if someone talks about module it most certainly means same as component the module is the more modern term here usually associated with object-oriented programming or distributed programming whereas component is sort of an older generation term But anyway the software here is all the components put together, integrated, tested and functioning. The system is extension of the software, including all the possible connections like data connection to internet, uh, connection to database, access to data servers, uh, possible connections and also the possible hardware that's needed to use the system like keyboard, touch, touch screen, uh, view screens, gamepads, mouse, heat sensors, whatever you need to have uh, as hardware to able to use the software here or that, that the software can perform its function. If we have a uh, fire alarm system which cannot uh, identify or sense heat or smoke or carbon dioxide, it's a pretty uh, crappy uh, 
pretty crappy system, so m meaning that the hardware plus all the needed connections and access to places plus software is the system. So hopefully this uh, gives an idea on what we are talking about when we, for example, talk about designing objects in UML or designing components in a larger view or talk about the entire system or defining the system or defining software or defining components or one object within one component.